Okay guys, as I'm impatiently waiting for my first video to load, I'm making a second. I'm having issues. I have no idea what I'm doing on YouTube. As pre-mentioned, my last video was my first video. This is my second video. Um, I'm excited to show you guys a few other things. Uh, the first video is the $20 Dragon Challenge that I was excited to do. Um, I saw Taylor Crane and Fitz do the $20 Dragon Challenge and I loved it. I got excited, especially since I do not have my Bearded Dragon. This is the Bearded Dragon tank right here. Um, I do not have her yet. We are getting her on Sunday. I'm super excited about. Um, so yeah, I wanted to show you guys my tank that I'm going to be also setting up tomorrow. It's going to be a vivarium, which means uh, hopefully going to be self-sustaining and awesome. I'm going to be breeding superworms, horned worms, Dubai roaches, um, betafish, shrimpies. I have a mystery snail clutch that was laid a few days ago. Um, all of this kind of popped up out of nowhere. Um, but I did want to share with you guys how awesome it is to decorate the back of your tank. Now, there's no need to worry about anything getting anywhere near your dragon. Um, I did use this. Can you focus? It's not going to focus. Anyways, they are non-toxic, uh, washable, safe, dry erase markers. And if that's not enough for you, the is actually on the other side, on the outside of the tank, not, not on the inside. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited about this. And as you might see, I decorated for Christmas because, and at the top of that Christmas tree right there is a little bearded dragon. Um, that's actually a picture of Fitz. I have not many bearded dragon references. So that is fits at the tippy top of my bearded dragon's Christmas tree. Again, I do not know my bearded dragon yet. Uh, we are getting her from a coworker of my husband's who is basically getting rid of her reptile room. And we are lucky enough to adopt her bearded dragon. I'm so excited about it. So stop by if you guys want to see my new bearded dragon. If you want to see how to set up a vivarium tank that I learned from BioDude. And if you want to see me breeding some betta fish, sorry about the mess, sorry about the, the video quality is probably not great either, but yes, I'm going to be breeding some betta fish. Uh, I learned almost everything that I know from uh, Simply Betta, and I love her videos almost as much as I love Taylor's videos. Um, so yeah, and then on top of that, a bonus to my $20 Dragon Challenge. I just wanted to share with you guys this awesome deal. This huge LED light that has LED lights, blue lights, all that good stuff from National Geographic brands uh, sold at PetSmart. Currently, they're getting rid of Nat Geo. That's why I got this big light for $32.77. An amazing deal. I'm so excited about it. You cannot have mine. I will be setting mine up even though it's too big for my tank. I will be just hanging it from the ceiling or above. Somehow I'll have my husband rig that up. That's not my job. Um, I'm here to make things pretty and livable. He takes care of the hard stuff that I have no idea how to do. That's a man's job. That was a very sexist statement. I did not mean that. I'm totally kidding. I do a lot of the hard stuff too and he does a lot of the good stuff. Um, so we are so excited to meet our bearded dragon and I'm so excited to share her, I believe, with you guys. So stay tuned, um, like, subscribe if you're interested in seeing any of that. Um, I will hopefully be tagging some people below. Um, like I said, um, Taylor Crane, I love, love, love your bearded dragon videos. Uh, Bio Dude, I'm really excited to set up this tank and Simply Bada. I am so excited to put to use everything that I've learned from you in breeding battas. So stay tuned guys if you're super excited about this. If not, also stay tuned. I don't care. Be bored with me. Okay? Just come back. Thanks.